Hello everyone and welcome to round 9 of F123 Career Mode. Today it is the Canadian Grand Prix, a Grand Prix which is one of my personal favourites uh, outside the British Grand Prix. Canada and Singapore are probably the two I look forward to most afterwards. Let's have a look. Ooh, what we said before, 10% extra morale. Temporary effect, I know, but it's better than not. Okay, so we could do it. Yep. Oh, do we risk a bless percent filling? Yes, because it might actually be helpful. And fuel efficiency uh, for next time out, can it? Let's uh, continue. See what happens. Good. Okay, we've had the new parts come through the fabrication. Is there anything we can do? Not reliability, because who cares about that? Yeah. So let's just wait. Oh! Oh! I rushed a pat anyway! Come on! <laughs> Got a full allocation a bit. <laughs> right. Righty tighty. We'll have to look at our D tree. And just see where we're comparing, really. Because the car's starting to feel good. Oh, by the way, I should probably do something. I need to up the difficulty 105. Have I made this too late? Anyway. Getting close to the performance of Mercedes and we're past Ferrari. Ferrari a fifth quickest. Goodness, what is this? 2020? Ah, we can adjust it. Great, 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 great. Right. See you before quality. Okay. Regarding our and date, our resource points are gobbled. We'll just get a couple of uh, development boosts as well. So that's uh, a good thing. And we've got a good amount of uh, points in the kitty now. So life is good. Nice, fresh PU. Let's qualify. What was that about? If you didn't see that, I had a massive stutter. I haven't had this one rig yet. Not that my qualifying effort would have been much good anyway. I might be reckoning at PU number six here. Let's have a miracle final chicane. God no. And with qualifying complete, let's review our I mean, look. I thought I was getting my quality hoodie sorted, but no. <sighs> you can guess. We're back once again beside the St. Lawrence River here in Montreal for the Canadian Grand Prix. The event first moved to the variant of this track back in 1978. Won by none other than Gilles Villeneuve, the first Canadian to ever win his home race, and in whose honour the circuit would be renamed. And isn't it wonderful? I love this place. It's just rat a tat tat, it's fast, in between walls, it's just how it should be. Starting, 
Here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and the smooth operator Carlos Sainz completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Norris, Fernando Alonso, Verstappen, Perez, Leclerc, Oscar Piastri, Ocon, Russell, Stroll, Magnussen, Albon, Bottas, Sonoda, Hulkenberg, Ricardo, Joe, Sergeant, and the scientist. Hi. Time for those five One second now. We're just going to stare at Canadian flag. I know it's nice and all, but no. Okay, we've got that relief of having points on the board finally. So let's keep that form up and get another top ten finish today, please. I'll do what I can, I guess. Close call. We are go, Sergeant Team to get a win. Oh, getting boxed in by everyone. Oh, bloody hell, guys, come on. Thirteenth. That's so where our Urs upgrade should do us good. A change will do you good. Rear ends just so ragged and loose, and I'm. Lots of Bottas trying to make his way through. Must be not my battle for fourth. That's race. Oh, I was not expecting to make moves on that many people, but I had no choice. All right, let's focus now for the rest of the race. I will. Reason that the placement of chicanes catch me out in this game, and I couldn't tell you why. Okay, you're in the top ten. I am. Right, George. There's a British wooden spoon, and I don't want it. What the hell? The AI breaks so early for the hairpin when they're in a train, and you. I came from. I don't think I've ever come from that far back against just one car before. That was incredible. We have Lando Norris tearing up the world up front. Anyway, we did a purple three. That's always encouraging. Glorious beat time. It's that burn up this is. And AI really need to break much late into that hairpin. Again, coming from absolutely nowhere. I've made another move. A move that would never be made in real life. So that's almost comparing, not even, G, even G3, a GT4, so do go around side of mouth. That's comparing like a GT4 to a hypercar, okay, we've lost a or LMP1 before it. Getting the hairpin. 
So chunks have the class, I mean, okay, DRS. No chance because already passed that point, but still. We feel the car bottoming around. Is the car too low? As the secret set up. Oh, warning. Let me down. Oh, legit purple sector three. Second warning, be careful. The aggressive run here always fun because everyone gets penalties pretty much. Do I have to have again in one breaks and on Leclerc? You can't run the air difficulty because it's. Oh, sorry to go for that, it wasn't there. 105! So you can't blame it on that. What was Chal doing there? He's vulnerable to Piastri now. Who is naughtily blocked off. Oh, I think Piastri's going to do it. Yes. I'll find a way to recover it. Come on, Spanish Armada. Science side on Prime's interesting. Alonso's already passed him back, look, so, yeah. Hey, that Ferrari hits on a straight line. He must have held on well. Another purple three from me. Don't know how, but it did. He thought about it, but he didn't. The race starting to really burn up now. Oh, it's the problem at this track. And and in this game, wear between axles is very dramatic in terms of how it handles. Still enough traction to pull alongside Mr. Sainz Jr. and say goodbye. What about Shadowed Hero at the eyebrow is? In the Alpine that he abandoned. Oh. Oh. That's a long the back in DRS. Can always have such good traction though, it don't matter anyway. I'm starting to close on Paris in fairness. Might have some at for him, but we'll see. Okay, the top three all paid at the same time. Don't usually see that up much without divine intervention of a neutralization. Vehicle condition. No need to worry about the tire condition for now. Bloody miracle, gotta say. But we've got um, DRS of Perez now. Good for this rivalry that I've got to have with him, but also. That later in race. If I can disrupt his rhythm now, better. But I expect he'll probably be in this lap or next. Okay, be 
careful. We think you're going to start losing some tire grip any time now. Oh, yes. And there he pits. Do you know what's depressing me? In a career mode sense, not a real sense. Nice stop in Hamilton, we're already mega close. Single figure of seconds away, and I've not even stopped yet, and they have. Don't want that. Slidey. The clearing, so I think it's pretty much us last to pit. It's time to do so. Land of assist for Diaz, 1 12 1. Might be able to do that on a new set of tyres, but definitely not now. This handling, just falling a bit over its stint. Falling to a bit. Let's get this new set of tyres on. Right, into the pits, we must go something, something. Not bad. Damn each year. Right, option to quality. Go. Okay, let's go now. Come on. That was a fantastic stop. Faster than we were expecting. Oh, Verstappen! I just noticed on the map. To be thinking about him, I've, I made Leclerc a factor. Oh, I had to pinch Leclerc to just get the place. He's retired. I'd be cursed if it was a safety car because one lap longer and it would have given me a, a much stronger position this race. Right. For P5. Beat Perez now. It'll be a podium. Okay, so the gap to the car ahead, 3.8 seconds. Gap to your teammate behind is 2.2 seconds. Not really thinking about that, thinking about in front. But thank you nonetheless. Thinking of one of those modes where. Shut up, Mark! Shut up, Mark! Unbelievable. Made a huge error into sector two there. The class coming with me, but his size is similar to mine, it's just a lap older. Again, insane traction through that hairpin. That hairpin must be giving it AI grief. An FL despite an error. Wow. Might be going okay for us then, even now. Want to smash that FL again. There we go. 111 1. Right. Can I clear Alonso quickly? That's going to be critical. Then we can get into beating the man he actually beat at the real life 2023 Sao Paulo Grand Prix in that dramatic battle. Which was brilliant to watch. Bye bye. He does, he does to me what Schumacher did to him 20 years ago at the top of his the Mall, the British Grand Prix. Why? So as if even out a bit, I can feel them already having evened.
And this hairpin just provides me so much time against the AI anyway. That went well. All I want to get is a little bit closer. Oh, green, white, checkered alert. Fuck it, tyres. It's going to be used quality, but it's about what I've got. It's a gamble. Poor Lando. But that's eliminated Lucy's competition from the race. Right, need to be Ock onto the safety car line. And I have. Right. Okay. Well, expecting that. Now, well, some now Hamilton onwards had failed to beat the safety car to the safety car line. Wow. Okay. Suppose it's apt not. We're in North America and we're green white checkered in. Of course, we spelt checkered with Q's in it. I've caught the back of the gaggle. Much, much better tyres than everyone ahead. When will Lewis give it the beans? Can he in this universe win his first Grand Prix since Saudi Arabia 2021? AI and restarts. It's like they don't use battery or they're being held back by something. Right, I've got Piastri. I've got Leclerc. Oh, these tyres are definitely, definitely going to be benefit. Oh, Alonso already. Right, so we've already made up what we need, so. Because we're not since time, and I would have been third. What about more? First of all, can we get Perez? You bet. Who's going to get a cut back? But watch this. A good buy. Benefit of thinking forwards. Can he get Lewis? I surely couldn't, could I? But me all his shots, they're gonna give it the everything, come on! Oh, oh but I got the cup, I got the final corner! We're gonna lead into the last lap, here we go! Wow! Wow! The first full course yellow, indeed first safety cut of the entire career mode. Unless I'm otherwise very much mistaken. And we were really the first car that could respond. I think Perez had probably got a little bit far response. I think I've cut the tyres with how they're feeling. So I'll just ease it in now. That blew my race wide open because there was no way in living hell I was going to win this one. That moment felt crucial. I, I literally had about two seconds to think about it. As but anything can happen in Formula 1 and it usually does virtually otherwise. And I can't believe I'm saying this. That's three wins in the last four! Get in! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Woo! A truly magnificent drive and a great performance from the entire team to secure 
Oh, Canada. He's the fight my mum. Ah. Oh. God, mate, where as cream mud goes, I was one of the very most unexpected wins I've ever pulled off. Because I generally can't remember the last time, whether that's in YouTube or otherwise, I've been so unlikely to win on cream mud and suddenly safety car. I just knew, look, I worked at Monaco, don't get me wrong, I'd have stayed out. I try like this. It's always worth a go. Always worth a go. With Leclerc having a bad race, for Stappen DNFing, that's a huge point swing. And another increase of difficulty coming up. We're going to have to go to 106 next time. 106. Okay, this was definitely not a merit, this win, in terms of pace, but who cares. It's a, it's a tie. Realise there's another last to face I've done. And pulling further ahead in the standings, it's Red Bull. Well done, Red Bull. Showing from the Mercedes team today as they make their way up the standings. Well, that was certainly an exciting weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for more exciting Formula One action very soon. I can't believe him now. Six points behind Verstappen and Leclerc, of course. Max obviously must have must have better results, hence why he is leading and Leclerc's not. But wow, we're right in this now with a car that is actually now starting to be close-ish. I feel quite happy about that one. Unexpected gifts sometimes to come. <laughs> right, and it gets even better because next up it's the rigged weather Grand Prix. Will the weather be rigged? I suppose we'll find out next time. Billy, you better be watching. It's your favourite race, the rigged one. You know you like a good old rigged race. I'm so going to put his voice in if it is full wet. See you next time. Bye-bye. Can't believe I pulled that off.